Hey guys, welcome to Hershey's Garage plus guns. And on today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change your front differential fluid on a 2009 to 2013 Subaru Forester. Uh, specifically, this one is a 2011, but it works for those years. So stick around to see how easy it, it really is. Before we get started, these are some of the tools that you will need for this job. Uh, some will be optional, but others will be mandatory. It will depend on your situation and what tools that you have on, at your disposal. So the first thing that you might want is a jack, a hydraulic jack and jack stands, uh, just in case you can't fit underneath the vehicle like I can, and I won't use these. But uh, like I said, if you can't fit underneath there, you're gonna need this. The second thing is you're gonna need the PPE gear, which is personal protective gear, which are glasses and your gloves, because you don't wanna get that stuff in your eyes or on your hands. Uh, the next thing that uh, you're gonna need is a funnel so that you can fill up uh, the uh, uh, fill hole on your differential. Um, and so obviously this is going to be a necessary item. And then you're going to need your uh, vehicle specific fluid which in this case is going to be, I chose Subaru's Genuine Certified High Performance Gear Oil, which is a 75W90, uh, which is what they recommend for the front differential in an automatic vehicle, obviously. So you're going to need at least two quarts of this, and I will show you in a description to the right how much fluid you will actually need. The next optional item you will need is some paper towels because you just never know. You got to clean up the mess. You don't want to get any of that oil on your engine. Otherwise, it could create a fire or uh, have some bad smells. And then you want to have your wrench, uh, socket wrench, uh, and possibly a breaker bar just in case the um, drain plug decides that it wants to uh, be frozen on there. And then towards the end, when you go ahead and torque down your uh, drain plug, you want a torque wrench because you want to make sure exactly uh, what the torque specification is so you don't strip that drain plug out. And I will show you right here what that torque should be. Then you want a vehicle specific torque bit which this one is a T70. It's called a T70 Torx bit. And this is because Subaru on the drain plug has to make things difficult and put it in a Torx bit. So you're gonna need one of these. And I'll show you in a link below where I got mine. I think it was like nine bucks. Then you're going to need this drain plug crush washer and this is you can get this from Subaru or wherever you want to get your stuff Amazon uh, and this goes on the drain plug after you uh, take it off because if you don't get a new one of these your vehicle might leak that fluid and the last thing is some type of catch basin so you can catch the oil in it and that's it so let's move on to the next part where we actually do the fluid change all right the first thing you want to do is open up your hood of your vehicle and then come over to the left passenger side of the vehicle and find your front differential dipstick here which is kind of hidden and it's right here in yellow and it might be kind of black uh, like mine was but I had to wipe it off a little bit and then you want to pull that out and test it by looking at the marks on there uh, to see where the level initially is so you can get a good baseline of where that mark should be at when you're all, all done. And make sure that your vehicle is on a level surface, nice and level, so you get a nice accurate reading. Okay, when I took mine out, it is really hard to see, but it is right just below the full line, which the full line is right here, and that's exactly where it should be somewhere in between these marks. Okay, then we're gonna replace the dipstick and then you're going to 
get inside your vehicle and take it around the block or wherever you uh, want to go get some groceries and come back and make sure that it is nice and hot in that differential so when you open up the drain plug it gets all the oil out of there and all the contaminants. Okay, now that we're good and hot, I'm gonna show you the location underneath the driver's side of the vehicle where that uh, differential pan is and where that drain plug is at. So before we do that though, we're gonna come over here and take our little uh, dipstick out of the differential top here and put that aside somewhere uh, where it's not gonna get uh, lost or d dirt on there so it creates an air pocket to where you when you take that drain plug out it will drain all the fluid out and uh, not have any uh, blockage or anything okay guys here we are underneath the car and this is your differential cover right here and there is that drain plug that I was telling you about and it, there's where the torque bit fits into. Let's see if I can get it focused there. And it fits in just like that. And then I'm going to go, of course, turn it to the left. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. I'm going to go to the left and take that out of there. But just to show you kind of uh, where we're at here, like I said, there's the differential cover. And there's the front of the vehicle. Here is right here let's scoot underneath here and we'll show you where the oil pan and the drain plug is there's the oil drain plug right there so that's in relation to like i said your differential right here and then here's your transmission fill and or drain plug right there so it's right in between these two it's right here you can't miss it. it's got little fins on here so let me go ahead and take that out of there. I'm gonna put, of course, my catch basin underneath here to get that, and I have to have two hands, so I'm gonna undo that, take that off, and let it drain, and drain all the way. Okay, now while we let the old fluid drain from the differential all the way, we're gonna take the old gasket, and of course set that aside, and right now this one, since I only have 30,000 more miles on the vehicle, or a little less, uh, it actually didn't look too bad, but the service um, manual and the people at the Subaru dealer, uh, the mechanics there said they always replace these. So that's why I'm doing this. But like I said, this one, old one didn't look too bad, but it's, it's really not that much of a, a cost savings. So go ahead and toss that one away. Here's the new one. So make sure the new one's good. We're going to set that down and make sure that it looks like the old one, which it does. Then we're going to take the drain plug and it's got a magnetic surface on here. And as you can tell, it's a little gunky. Uh, and that's just because it collects all the, the crap uh, that uh, is in that differential and it puts it on this little magnet. So before you put it back in your vehicle, after you've drained the fluid, you want to go ahead and wipe that top off real fast and it should look nice and sparkly clean now we're ready to put on our gasket and put this back into the differential hole there okay now we're under the vehicle again so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe around take my cloth here and wipe around to make sure that I get all the excess fluid out of here and make sure it's clean then take my drain plug and go ahead and thread it on the differential itself bottom there into the plug like so and then i'm going to go take my torque wrench which i can get here in a second and torque this down and again i will tell you the spec that it was supposed to be torqued down to Now it's time to come to the front of the vehicle and put your funnel in the filler tube where the dipstick was. And for this, you're going to need about 1.3 quarts of fluid, but it's going to vary uh, 
slightly from vehicle to vehicle. So go ahead and pour about a quart in and wait about uh, 10 minutes and wait for everything to five to 10 minutes and wait for everything to uh, settle uh, down the oil to settle down in the, the differential itself there. And then go ahead and check the level uh, to see where it is on the, the stick and then add, you know, point uh, two quarts uh, and see where it's at again and then wait. Uh, and then you should get to that level where it is um, uh, just on the, the, the top part of the, the full side. Okay, guys, I just waited 10 minutes and then I put the dipstick back in there and checked the level. And you can see it's just covering the L on the low end. So it's not even up to that hash mark right there. So with one quart my, in my car, it's barely not even to the line. So I'm going to have to add probably another 0.2 of the quarts um, and see where I'm at. And like I said, wait another 5 to 10 minutes for everything to settle down and then check it again. As you can see, I just took my last reading and it's just below the full line. And that is it. This, that's uh, the end of this video. Uh, it worked out really good. I got it just looks like below that full line. So we are good to go. And <clears throat> I can put the dipstick back into its correct spot here. And then what you want to do is you want to clean up your surfaces uh, around your... Uh, engine here and make sure you didn't spill any uh, excess oil and stuff because otherwise um, it will maybe catch fire or make the engine smell bad. So clean up that up around there and then you are good to go. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you didn't, give me a, a thumbs down and tell me why you didn't. But comment in the uh, comments down section down below and uh, let me know what you think. Either way, uh, and uh, pretty soon I'm going to have a video on how to change the rear differential fluid. Uh, so uh, be on the lookout for that. All right, guys. Love you and peace.